<clears throat> Hi, this is Dr. McClellan, and this video is about the analysis essay, which is essay two, thesis statement short writing assignment. All right, I'm going to go over the instructions. I'm going to introduce the goals, talk about the instructions, <clears throat> and then I'm going to pull my pull my uh, example up and, and uh, work on it as part of the part of the video. All right. So the goal for this assignment is that you write a one sentence analysis thesis statement about your career choice as the topic um, with a because stance written with an action verb and a plan of development whose three major supporting details are pay and benefits, job availability, and required education and training. And in this essay, one of the differences in this essay is that your plan of development supports your stance rather than supporting the topic like we did in the expository essay. Okay, <clears throat> so you're going to write an analysis essay about the career you'll be able to, you will be able to get with your degree. And it can be the degree here. If you plan on going to a four-year school after here, it can be that degree. Um, either one is fine with me. Now remember, an academic topic is a topic that is written about in scholarly articles that are published in peer-reviewed academic journals. This one is a little bit different. Careers all careers are professional topics. Now some careers are also academic and professional because they have academic journals written about them. I mean, after all, just look up police officers on, you know, the library's website. Um, however, those articles won't help us in this essay because we're only looking at, we're, an, we're analyzing whether or not this is a good career to go into. So this search is different. So for your, your career choice, I want you to research it. Yes, you get to research from the beginning, but it's not a lot. So look on the library's website, research it on Google Scholar, research it on the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics website, um, which is a government website that keeps data on, on occupations, and then either a company's website, like if you're going to be a process operator, you can look at you know, ExxonMobil's website or Motiva's uh, company website. Not sell you something website, but the company website. Or you could look at a local government's website. For example, if you're going to be a police officer, um, you might look at Beaumont's, Beaumont, uh, Beaumont's uh, website for their, you know, for the police department. Um, if you're going to be like um, you know, a sonographer, then you need to look at um, um, there's usually like there's a sonography association so you would look up, uh, you would google associations for sonography and then you would look on their website too. So it's either going to be a .gov, a .com, a .org and you can also use LIT's website. It's not going to have this information on it necessarily, but um, you could start there if you wanted to. So you're going to use specific information about your plan of development. One, you're going to look for pay and benefits. You're going to look at job availability. And you're also going to look for required education and training. And you're going to look at these in your pre-writing so they need to be part of your thesis statement. As you're doing your research for this, make a list. Keep a list of the URLs of the website you find this information because you need it for the pre-writing. And some of your information should come from, from page graphics like, tab, like tables, charts, and graphs because the research requirement for this assignment is data, not expert opinion. Okay, so write a one sentence analysis thesis statement about your career choice as a topic with a because stance written with an action verb, a plan of development, and with three major supporting details. 
pay and benefits, job availability, and required education and training. Okay, so let me bring my example over here. I've got it right here. <coughs> okay, so blank is a good career choice because because of blank, blank, and blank. And what goes in these blanks First is your topic, so whatever career choice. So here's my here's my career choice. I'm going to use my career choices as the example. And I've got my is a good career choice because so this is my stance. I've got my is highlighted in bold faced, um, highlighted in red and bold faced because as usual there are no B verbs, but we're going to talk about looking for synonyms as part of this this video. And then my plan of development, the three criteria in my plan of development, because in, in an analysis essay, these are called criteria. My three criteria are pay and benefits, job availability, and required education and training. So there's my three criteria in my plan of development. <clears throat> so let's talk about this is. I've got to find, I've got to find a synonym for is. A synonym <coughs> is a word that means the same thing but is a different word. Now I'm looking for verbs specifically. So is is a be verb. So there's be and verbs that also mean be are is. Here's some of them right here. Come to pass, befall, betide, arise, come about, exist, live, have life. But these really don't fit with what I want to use. So I'm going to go further and I'm going to look up synonyms of exist. <clears throat> okay, live, have life, breathe, drop breath, survive, um, manage, make do. None of these really fit either. So let's look at, hmm, what about manage? Govern, rule, command. Mm -hmm. Be in charge of. I really don't like those. What about if I say, what if what if I use the word include? What if I look up include, incorporate, compromise, encompass, add, insert? So as I'm looking at all of these. I'm thinking too because I'm trying to figure out which one of these is going to be the best for my thesis statement and it comes to mind that because I'm talking about teaching and I've got dad jokes I could say rather than using one word I could say earns an A plus as a career choice because so that's my journey to find a word that's not a B verb. And it, it just takes a little bit of time and thought. You don't have to do the dad joke thing. I just thought that was, it's kind of like ironic because it, you know, earns an A plus as a career choice because teachers give out, you know, teachers, you know, have students who earn A pluses. I don't give anything. You've got to earn it from me. So. <clears throat> That's how I got to what I ended up with here. Teaching online, teaching college English earns an A plus. So here's my topic. Here's my stance. There's my, there's my because. And here's my plan of development with my three major supporting details. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. So
So here's my topic, teaching college English. Here's my stance. Earns an A-plus as a career choice because plan and development with three major supporting details. It pays okay. Is easy to find a job. Oh, has Oh, it pays okay and has great benefits, is easy to find a job, and requires a master's degree in English. <coughs> so there's my there's my thesis statement. And I'm gonna go from here and do my my pre-writing, my pre-writing assignment. Alright. If you have any questions, you know how to contact me. Bye.